Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. And we are pleased to be joined by Kaz Gralla, the driver of the number 16 um, Hyper Ice Chevrolet for Colleg Racing in the NASCAR Cup Series, uh, uh, who will be competing this weekend at Talladega. How's it going, man? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, so, Kaz, the last time we saw you in a race car was the Daytona 500. Um, it's been a while since we've seen you. What have you been up to? Well, unfortunately not racing, but uh, that gets to change this this Sunday, which I'm pumped about. Um, but no, doing a lot of a lot of virtual racing and honestly, uh, just a lot of working on sponsorship and working on things for for the remainder of the season and, and for next season, always trying to, to look ahead. So I, I have not had a shortage of, uh, of busyness, just unfortunately hasn't been on track. So um, hopefully we'll we'll be getting on track a little more often here going into the summer stretch, which um, would, would be a lot of fun, but starts with Talladega this weekend, which as you know, can be a little bit hectic. So I'm just hoping that, that we come out on the right end of it. So um, what, what, what got you interested in super speedway racing? Why do you like it so much? You know, honestly, that's an excellent question. And, and I have a love hate relationship with super speedway racing. I, I hate the fact that there, there is uh, a, a lot out of your control out there. Um, but at the same time, for whatever reason, I've, I've done well at plate tracks in the past. I won my first plate race ever in, in the trucks and um, got top fives in, in Xfinity every time I went to Daytona. So <clears throat> they've been good to me, unfortunately, uh, our, our Daytona 500 luck. Well, it lasted through the duel, luckily. <laughs> but did not last uh, last through the whole race. So hopefully that uh, that that won't happen. Um, we don't need our right rear on fire at Talladega. We need to make it to the end of the race. And uh, I, I feel good about it. Our car was fast at Daytona, and uh, I know that everyone's gone to work and uh, tried to make it even better. I'm sure they have. I guess I won't know until we drop the green. But um, I, I'm sure it's going to be a really good car. So if we can just be there at the end of the race, then you know I think. I think we'll have as good a shot as anybody. So Kaz, um, I, I know you kind of talked about you might, you're planning on getting more races in the year. What is your current plan right now? <clears throat> well, I think, I think we're going to do the super speedways. Uh, I know Chris Rice, Matt Colleague, they love the super speedways and I like them too. So um, we're going to have some fun on, on the big tracks for sure. Uh, it, as far as anything beyond that, it's kind of up in the air. I'm hoping to do some, some other regular ovals or a road course here and there. Um, I, I got that that one little bonus race in the trucks or in the, the second weekend of the year over at the Daytona road course. I'd love to do more of that type of stuff. Really anything that, that I can get my hands on a drive, no matter what the track is, <clears throat> I'll do it no matter the series. So um, anything and everything I can, I'm, I'm ready for it. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get some more opportunities uh, throughout the season to, to stay busy on, on the weekends. So, so, I mean, you know, kind of going into this weekend, I know you only have, you know, a limited amount of races, but what is it, what's it going to be like? Do you, have you kind of planned on next year a little bit with how the, how things are kind of going? Have you had discussion with other teams and stuff? I, I haven't. <clears throat> it, it's been more um, sponsorship based, you know, anytime that, that you can try to get um, a relationship with a company whatever series or whatever team, it doesn't matter. That's, that's always going to be a benefit. So we're definitely not at the point of the year where, where you're talking to other teams and, um, and, and honestly, colleague would be, would be the place to stay. They, they're growing so quickly and, and doing big things everywhere that they are. Um, so I, I definitely want to want to stick with them and um, see what we can do the remainder of this year. And uh, ultimately that's, that's what's going to determine next year. So um, honestly, just working on, on sponsorship relations, which I've been doing for years. So it's uh, same old, same old on, on that front, even though I'm, I'm doing some, some different races with, with a different team this year. Um, but as far as what I do throughout the week really looks about the same as, as what it always has. So um, hopefully I'll, I'll be ahead of the curve and, and see if I can get some, some things lined up uh, in that respect earlier than, than usual. And um, as you know, my goal has been to run full time for four years and I'm part time again this year, but <clears throat> I'm always looking ahead to the next year and hopefully 
that'll be the year that, that I can run full time. So um, hopefully 2022, I'll, I'll be driving something every weekend in, in some kind of series. <laughs> well, when you're, when you're going into this, going into this weekend at Talladega, do you feel like you have something to prove and say to teams? It's like, Oh, Hey, I'm, I'm still here. I know what I'm doing. I mean, remember you did win at Daytona um, a few years ago in the truck series. So what, what do you, what do you think, what's your approach going to be this weekend? Well, you know, I, I think our approach is going to be a little bit different than, than Daytona, at least personally, I, I'd like it to be, you know, we, we were being really cautious and trying to stay out of harm's way in Daytona. And unfortunately it, it we still ended up getting caught up in, in something minor that ultimately ended our day uh, with the fire. So, um, you know, that, that was disappointing for me because I felt like our race was over before I really got to show what we could do um, and flex our muscle. So uh, this weekend, you know, I, I'm, I'm not looking to, to be, you know, overly aggressive or anything too early by any stretch, but uh, I, I would like to at least be able to, to race a little bit um, throughout the whole race and, and make sure that, that we're, we're always busy out there and um, not necessarily just riding. So I think it'll be a little different approach from us than, than the 500. Um, but hopefully we'll, we'll have success with it and, and be, be there when it counts in, in stage three. So um, I, and, and I do think that I have something to prove uh, just in general, when it's multiple months in between races, you know, everybody else has been racing and everybody else is, is the story. And I feel like <clears throat> I need to kind of remind everybody, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm here. Don't forget about me. And I'd like to be here every week. So um, I, I do feel like anytime I get in a race car, I, I kind of have to try to, to set the bar and, and remind everybody that, that I'm there. And the only way to do that is, is by performing. So that's, that's my plan. Easier said than done, but um, I, I feel like we can do it as, as a group. And um, Colleague Racing, of course, not only do they love the plate tracks, but they're really good on the plate tracks. They, they know what they're doing. Um, and, and so does RCR that, that we work with. So uh, all around, I feel good about the car and about the team, and um, and, and I feel like I, I I can do really well on plate tracks too. So we've got all the pieces, and uh, just didn't get that result at Daytona. But I feel like this this could be our weekend to do that. Kaz Grala, thank you so much for coming on, and uh, good luck this weekend at Talladega. Thank you very much. Anytime.